how to get more space on your Dropbox account. So right now, I only have 11.8 gigabytes in my free account. So what do we do? Step one, download VirtualBox. If your PC is a Windows operating system, use this link. If it's a Mac, use this one. After you've downloaded VirtualBox, go ahead and download an operating system for the virtual machine. Download the LTS version, which stands for long-term support. Okay, now that you have got VirtualBox installed onto your computer, go ahead and open the application and you see this interface. Click new to create a new machine, then type in the name as Ubuntu. Follow the wizard to create all the defaults that you need and you will get this machine appearing on the left hand panel. Click start, you will be prompted to choose a virtual disk file. So navigate to the ubuntu.iso file you downloaded earlier and choose this. Then click start. Follow the wizard through again to install the operating system on your virtual computer. Now that you've installed Ubuntu onto VirtualBox, double click on your operating system, then wait for it to boot up just like a normal computer. Now we are onto the home screen. We need to install Dropbox. What you do is click Ubuntu software, then type in Dropbox. And all you have to do is click install. Since I've already done that, I don't get that option. Note that when prompted, just keep clicking OK to let Dropbox download and install. Next step, back up the machine. So create an image of your operating system at this moment in time so that you can recover this state of the machine later on. To do this, click the machine menu and then click take snapshot. Next step, create Gmail accounts. Fill in the details and create your Gmail. Okay, now that you've created your new Gmail account, go to the dropbox.com slash referrals website, scroll down and click copy link. Navigate to your virtual machine, type in that link. For some reason, copy and pasting doesn't work. So I have to type it in. You should get this page appearing saying you've been invited to try Dropbox. Now you create an arbitrary account, can be anything, and enter the email address that you've just created. Type whatever password you want, click I agree, and then sign up. Okay, once you've done that, let's go ahead and go back to the Dropbox main web page. You'll be logged in to your new Dropbox account. Now, the next step is to verify the email address. To do that, click on your user account, click on settings, then here, click verify email. This will send a verification email to your Gmail account. Now go to the Gmail tab, log into your Gmail. You can see the please verify your email address email from Dropbox. Click on this verify your email button and you have verified your email. Okay, we're almost done. So now that we've verified our email, the last thing we need to do to get the extra space is to log in to the Dropbox app. For some reason, it doesn't want to open when I click the Dropbox app. So right now I'll restart the computer by clicking the close button. Make sure that restore current snapshot is not checked. Okay, this is not checked. We do not want to restore it just yet. Click OK. Relaunch the machine by double clicking. Okay, as you can see, I didn't even do anything. So after the machine has restarted, the web page for connecting the new Dropbox account to this virtual machine automatically appeared. Now all you have to do is click connect and then we've got the extra space and we've linked the new Dropbox account to this virtual machine. Now, as you can see here, I started with 11.8 gigabytes. Now I have 12.2 gigabytes. Now to repeat this process, we now need to close the virtual machine, make sure that restore current snapshot is not checked. The machine is powered off, right click and click settings. Go to Network, click Advanced, and down here, click Refresh Mac Address. Click OK. 
Now that we've changed the MAC address, go ahead and start the system. So now the machine has a new MAC address and we need to restore the snapshot. So click cross. Now this time, check this box. Click OK. Start the machine again. VirtualBox will restore Ubuntu to the snapshot we created at the start of the tutorial. So yeah, now you just repeat from the step where you create your Gmail account. That's it.